welcome back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Nitro 5 or Nitro 5 laptop. The exact model for this one is a Acer Nitro 5 AN515-43-261. The model name is an N618C3. That information can be found on the sticker on the bottom of the laptop, on the box or inside the bio. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can add or remove the RAM or upgrade the RAM if you want to. Just remember by upgrading the RAM you're not going to change any modification in the system. It's just pretty much plug and play. These BIOSes are locked down. It's not advanced BIOS to do an XMP mode or just manually set the RAM speed. It's just pretty much plug and play. Uh, you can upgrade this laptop up to 64 gig with no problem. I made a really short video how you can check your maximum RAM capacity on your laptop. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also, in this, I'll leave the link for a compatible RAM that we use. In this video, I'm just gonna cover up how to open and how to access those RAMs. All right, first thing first, you wanna make sure you power off completely. Do not put on a suspending or anything. Don't suspend the laptop, just put a hibernation. Turn it off completely. You wanna grab yourself the guitar pick. Then you wanna grab yourself a screwdriver set. The screwdriver set I'll be using, I fix the screwdriver set from this tool set I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Right, with this on hand, we're gonna get it started. So we're gonna start by removing all the screws on the bottom of the laptop. We start from one corner and remove them. Most, I believe all the screws are the same size and height, if I don't mistake any. Yeah, they should be all the same size and height, so don't worry about it. Just grab, remove all of them and put them in as one single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helping and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, double check, make sure you haven't missed any. The one in the back, this is a sticky one, the one in the middle. And once you remove all of them, you want to stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest. Let me start from the front side so you guys can see it nicely. So I'm going to find a way to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover. So find one corner. I'll go to this corner right there. So if you're not on the screen, so it's just between right where the gap is. You can write that and then you just want to twist it, work yourself. You want to hear those clips are making big click sounds. That's what you want to hear. To the front. Now you can see the front is lifting up. You stick it up to two, three millimeters inward, not the whole guitar pick. And just twist it, wiggle it around on the side. Lift it up, wiggle it around, and it will snap the rest of the clips and it will get released. All right, down here we can see the RAMs and the rest of the components. The RAMs are right here. They, they do have a two RAM them available for upgrade. To remove the RAM, let me flip it upside down like that. To remove the RAM, you do not need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary to disconnect the battery. You can just leave it on. But if you want to be paranoid and you want to disconnect it, you can put your fingers at the side of this jack and then pull it backward just like that and the connector will come out loose. Okay. And to put it back in, remove this gap first thing right there. You have to make sure you align the connector in front of the jack, and then you wanna pinch it evenly inside the connector. If you go sideways in, you're gonna make a, create a short and damage the motherboard. But you don't need to disconnect that. All right, to remove the RAM, all you want to do is put your fingers on the side of the triggers and then pull them away from each other, and the RAM should pop out in 45 degree angle, just like that. All you want to do is grab it in 45 degree angle and just slide it back. That's one. Same thing from here. I slide that one up a little back to that side, I slide this one, and the RAM just comes out in 45, slide it back out. These are an 8 gig and an 8 gig for a 16 gig. You can grab a 16 and 16. To have a 34 gig RAM. When you want to put the RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM right here, this notch has to match the notch right on the motherboard on the DIMM. So if you try to put it that way round in, it's not going to go through because the notch will not permit that. 
So you want to rotate, bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, and then push it towards the motherboard. And you're going to hear these triggers open and close automatically. Same thing here. I'll bring it down in 45, and then push it towards the motherboard, and you watch these two triggers open and close. And that's how you know your RAM is perfectly in place. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. All right, next, simply all you need to do is to put the bottom cover on. You can put the bottom cover on. You don't have to put the screws in to test it. You can just power it on, wait five to 10 seconds for the motherboard to do a MEM check, which is called a RAM check. And after that, it should turn on. And once it's on, power it up and come back and put the rest of the screws. Now, if you have upgraded a RAM and you put it power on after 10 to 15 seconds, you do not get anything on the screen, don't panic. Just power off the laptop completely again by holding down the power button for 5 to 10 seconds and come back and swipe the places for the RAMs. Put the new RAM upward and the other one, the old one on the bottom, and then power it on. And that way the motherboard can be forced into a mem check. Sometimes the motherboard doesn't do a mem check automatically, it doesn't detect that you put a new RAM and it stays in a black screen. So swiping the places, it will help definitely to make the motherboard to do a mem check. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you want to have it, if you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna put up the bottom 